Well, a number of cities in Jackson County are getting infrastructure funding to support new housing developments. The city of Phoenix is getting over one and a half million bucks for sewer and stormwater facilities, and Talent is getting 300,000 for similar infrastructure. Medford is getting just under a million in funding for a regional stormwater facility to support the new spirit housing development for wildfire survivors. Ashland State Representative Pam Marsh was one of the legislators that helped secure the funding. She believes it'll go a long way toward helping address the housing crisis locally. Medford, Talent and Phoenix all got money that will go toward water infrastructure that services homes that are going to be developed nearby. So that helps us on a couple different fronts. First, it solves some of our infrastructure issues. And secondly, it's really essential to help us build housing. And we know how much we need that. Marsh says there are still a lot of issues with housing that she hopes to address in the next legislative session. That includes providing more housing for local seniors. State Rep Marsh is also pleased with the funding going toward addiction and drug treatment through Governor Kotek's bills. We were able to get a million and a half dollars to the Additions Recovery Center or ARC. They're going to spend uh, half a million dollars of that to expand their sobering services, which are really an essential cog in our ability to respond to people who are struggling with substance use. ARC will use the other million dollars from the legislature for its withdrawal management expansion project. Marsh also advocated for jail medication for opioid disorders and says the state will provide $10 million to fund that program.